You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. ever tried to reach success only to keep falling down again and again? Welcome to Energetic Magic with your host, Shiraz. Shiraz is here to discuss the different ways our belief systems and the stories we tell ourselves create the reality we live in. Listen as Shiraz removes your limiting beliefs and changes your reality. So now, please welcome the host of Energetic Magic, Shiraz. Welcome to Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, iTunes, and TuneIn Radio. I am your host, Shiraz, and this week we are talking about how to rewrite reality. And as always, if you have some blocks of limiting beliefs, the number to call is 1-866-451-1451. And this is actually our final show for the year. And... Uh, it's been a fun run, and Energetic Magic will reappear sometime next year in a slightly different format. But uh, I've been enjoying it so much, and I thought this last show we will take some information out of my book, How to Rewrite Reality, and uh, just sort of share some of the experiences I've had over the years. And actually, I'm going to start with one that just happened last week, which I thought was just fascinating, in that a friend of mine called me up, uh, well, actually, Facebooked me, and uh, so told me that she'd finally forgiven me. And I was, like, very confused. I'm like, forgiven me for what? And she said, for taking my daughter. And, I'm, I'm, again, I got more confused. And so we got into a discussion about it, and this is what had happened. I she, uh, rented a home with her and her daughters when I was living in Australia. And I eventually, uh, we were living in Brisbane, but I eventually moved to Sydney and I was having a great time in Sydney. And then I was a birthday, actually two birthdays were coming up for two of my friends. And I was still in touch with them. And I was talking to her daughter and her daughter was turning 18. And I said, and I was telling her about the big party we're going to have for the two girls. And she said, oh, I would love to be there. And I said, well, why don't you come down? And she said, well, I can't afford to. I said, oh, I've got money. I can afford to fly you down here. If you want to come, you can come. It's up to you. And she said, oh, my God, I'd love to come. So she flew down to celebrate her birthday with two other girls that she knew. They had an amazing time. Then she flew back. What I didn't know was that her mom had planned a surprise 18th birthday party for her. And that she came down and missed her own surprise party. And 18 is a pretty special year, and her mom was very upset with me. Now, keep in mind, I was still in Australia for another year, and okay. this conversation never came up in that entire year that I was there after the birthday. But her mom had resented me and been angry with me for over a decade, and it finally got to a point where she forgave me. Now, it's interesting here because what I talk about in How to Rewrite Reality is that our stories and our beliefs create our reality. So I was living in a reality where I did a favor for her daughter and gave her an amazing birthday present. And she was living in a reality where I ripped her daughter away from her and, and spoiled a, an incredible birthday party she had planned. And it was, you know, be, me being irresponsible and disrespectful. And in my reality, I didn't even know anything was wrong. So it's amazing how we can live with this. And this came up because I was doing a talk on forgiveness. And of course, this conversation has to happen two days before I'd give the talk on forgiveness because you know what, no coincidences. But it really 
open things up for me because I, I really started to think about how many people are living their lives resenting other people for their actions and the people they're resenting may not even be aware that they did anything wrong. Isn't that kind of crazy? How many misunderstandings are going unresolved? Oof, that's causing a lot of shifting out there. Wow. <laughs> Okay, I should point out that when energy shifts around me, I tend to yawn and cough, and uh, this talk is hitting a whole bunch of people. Whew. Okay. Imagine how much forgiveness there could be, how much resolution there could be, if instead of keeping things bottled up, you actually had communication with the people around you. You were actually willing to share your feelings uh, when you're being hurt when you feel like you've been betrayed instead of just resenting the other people. It could have changed the last decade for this woman. But, you know, at least we got to a point where she got over it. And we had the conversation. I told her, I said, I was sorry. I was completely oblivious and no one said anything. So, whew, okay, good stuff, people. Let's keep the shifting going. So for those of you new to the show, I am a reality shifting specialist and I help people to discover what stories they're running at a subconscious level that they don't even know is going on. And people come to me when they're in a situation where they know they should be doing better. They know there's a problem that can be solved, but their attempts to solve it aren't working and they don't know why. So the business isn't growing or relationships aren't showing up the way they want, or even they're stuck in a health problem that maybe they've been told there's nothing they can do about or everything they're trying to do about it just doesn't work. And these things happen and get stuck this way when you have underlying beliefs that whatever the condition is that's staying there the best thing for you is to keep that condition there, to stay poor or to stay sick or to stay lonely. There's an underlying belief that says this is better than the alternative, which is what you're trying to get to of getting the money or getting the relationship or becoming healthy. And it's it's kind of crazy that the stories that the subconscious comes up with. So uh, one of my, my favorites was about a, a woman who was making uh, around $250,000 a year and she dropped to $30,000 a year. And we looked at what was going on in her subconscious. And I asked her, what's wrong with being a rich bitch? And her jaw dropped and she told me, well, that's what my friends always used to call me. And she didn't like being called a rich bitch. And her subconscious looked at the problem and said, well, I can't do anything about being called a bitch, people are just going to say what they want to say. That's out of my control. I can control the rich part. So she started losing money. And that way, when she got down to $30,000, no one could ever call her a rich bitch again. So that's a belief we need to clear for her so she could start earning money. And she needed to get new friends, but that's another story. So there's all sorts of areas in your life where you are living a reality that can be changed but you often think <coughs> wow you often think that that reality is fixed there's there's elements of those realities that that just cannot be altered in any fashion and i show people that that's completely untrue and it's amazing because you will blame the economy, you will blame other people, you will blame circumstance. But when you realize that you're creating it all, when you're bringing it all into your reality, then that's a game changer for a lot of people. Whew, good. The catch there is you have to be responsible for everything that shows up in your life and claim that as the reality that you've been creating. And that can be tough depending on what's happened in your life. But when you claim responsibility for everything, then you can start 
being responsible for everything that shows up. You can start changing things. You can start creating a new life. And we're going to talk about how to do that during the show. So remember, the number to call is 1-866-451-1451. But right now, we're going to take a break. So this is Shiraz on Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, iTunes, and TuneIn Radio. And we'll be right back. Do you ever wonder why certain things are happening in your life? How to start a business or a new direction? Need answers? Astrologer Bonnie Perbula can help you reveal your true self and gain strength and focus so you can achieve greater joy and success. Working with a natal birth date, time, and location, Bonnie brings out qualities to aid you in getting the best from your life. She can help you unlock dormant traits to bring you greater awareness. Bonnie also conducts public speaking engagements to educate aspiring astrologers on their journey to the stars. A gifted artist, Bonnie bridges her talents and recently launched a line of Astro Bears, uniquely created in colors of individuals' astrology charts. She also makes one-of-a-kind necklaces of crystal beads and woven thread. To learn more about the world of Bonnie Prabula, go to BonnieGPrabula.com. And for astrology consulting, visit AstrologyConsultants.com or call or email her at 808-526-1536 or BonnieGP at AOL.com. Hi, my name is Myra Fox, and I am a survivor. I am the founder of the Castle Lewis I Survived Foundation and the author of a series of books entitled I Survived a Murder Untold, which tells the story of my sister and I who were abandoned and left in the care of a woman who beat us repeatedly. Unfortunately, it resulted in the death of my sister, Castle Lewis, which is revealed in a page-to-page chilling story. After spending time in the foster care system, I've documented my suffering and my loss and ultimately my survival. I'm blessed to work daily in my community and surrounding areas to give back by helping others and feeding the homeless. I want to spread awareness of the dangers of abuse. You can purchase my books and contribute to the Castle Lewis I Survive Foundation by visiting www.castlelewis.com or you can call us at 540-999-8401. Thank you. Welcome back to Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, iTunes, and TuneIn Radio. And we have a caller. Arthur, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How can I help you today? I feel I have blocks, energetic blocks, or just blocks on learning. I want to be able to intrinsically love learning and being able to laser focus on the two tasks that I care about that we talked about yesterday without letting myself get distracted. If it's something that you actually want to learn, it will interest you. You'll be pulled to want to learn it. If it's something you're just trying to force yourself to learn, that's a different thing. So you have to look at what you want to create in your life and what's necessary to create that. And then learn what's going to get you to that place. So I actually you, was pretty uh, focused for... I actually was pretty focused for a long period of like on a few days in a row, actually. But yesterday, we, after we talked and you gave me so much clarity on what specifically how I could provide value, I felt a lot of fear. And that actually, actually made me not less motivated, but I needed a long break before I could work on it again. And even now, it's like I'm scared of what will, what will happen to create those two things I want to create. Before, I was just thinking, oh, I'll just learn and then somehow create value. But after you gave me the specifics, it's like, this is why I want to create an ebook and a hub for people, like an online hub for people to create hobbies into paying their bills. It's like, I'm thinking about these things and they seem very, very big to me. So it's not that I don't love these things. It's just that now that I know what it is, it feels very scary. Oh, good. Then you found something that you should do. If it doesn't feel scary, there's no point in doing it. All right. The scariness means you're moving out of your comfort zone. It means you're growing into a bigger space. And that's what that fear is. Oof. Okay. So do you not want to do something because it's scary? Is that the issue here? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of like, yeah, I, I'm kind of scared of the kind of person I'll become after I create these things, even though I, I kind of know that it will be make me a better person. But at the same time, it will be so unlike the kind of person that I already am at the moment that it's like, it's scary. I, I don't know what will happen to me if I actually pursue these hobbies 24-7 and just make it a reality. 
I'll be a different person by the time I create it. That's the point, though. Right? Yeah. The, the things that you want, they're not going to show up for you now because you're getting everything that you can get at the frequency you're at. So you, you have to become a different person to receive new outcomes. So what's so scary about this person you're going to become? Uh, this sounds really silly, but I will actually have the opportunity and to actually get a relationship, for example. Yeah, okay. that's the first thing that kind of comes up. It's like I, can, I, won't have, I won't be able to have excuses for not living like a really good life and that, w- that will totally change my living standard and everything that I know as like known, it will be unknown. Okay. And, you know, you can always make up excuses, so that's not the issue. It's, it's whether you choose to make up the excuses. <coughs> Ooh, wow. What do you love so much about your excuses? My excuses let me know that I haven't wasted my life for the last de- few decades. Okay. So you haven't wasted your life. You've just been on a journey for the last few decades. Right? People are going to learn at different very paces. Efficient yeah. Yeah. But, you know, every person's journey, no matter how fast or slow, it leads leads them to where they're supposed to be. And if you're going to teach people how to improve their lives, then having that example of a life that you didn't improve for a long time is going to be very powerful for them to learn so that they'll know, oh, you just didn't have it great all the time, that you may have had opportunities to make it great, but you didn't take it. That's what a whole bunch of people out there are doing. And to hear that that's happened to other people and it's okay and you don't have to have your life perfect all the time, that's a message people like to hear because then they can say, okay, I've screwed up. I've wasted time in my life, but now I'm going to stop that and I'm going to start doing my life differently. So you can dwell and sulk about what's happened so far in your life, or you can start focusing on what you're now going to create in your life and how wonderful that's going to be for people around you when you start putting your program into effect. I felt a weird pain in my head. That was not like a pain, but actually like a relief type of pain, which doesn't make Mm -hmm. sense, but that's how it was. And um, I kind of feel that, like, for example, like I, I kind of thought about like for example, this my one of my strongest skills is dance, and in order for me to be a good dancer, which took me about ten years, I went to different events. I met all these sort of dancers. I got one-on-one coaching. I went I went internationally to Hong Kong to dance, and I did went in music videos. I went in competitions. I did all sorts of things before I could really before people even acknowledged me as oh you're like an advanced dancer now. But so now that I'm starting a lot of things that are a bit new to me like trying to create a professional book ebook and also Mm -hmm. to create a hub using programming it's like this is gonna this might take me 10 years and it's not as i can't use my former experiences to teach me how to get that good in these things because these are kind of things that like i don't think there's any place in toronto where i can just surround myself with people writing ebooks or a mentor to write an ebook or like um like I don't think that I just don't think that exists and like do I and I'm just thinking do I have to use my old formula of just immersing myself for years and years and years before the talent somehow shines through for these things you might I mean if you believe that they're what you're looking for doesn't exist then you're definitely not going to find it mm-hmm. again it's what reality do you want to create you know have you actually looked to see if there are programs or people available to coach you on writing ebooks, or have you just made the assumption that it doesn't exist in Toronto? I just made the assumption that it doesn't exist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So maybe you want to look into these things before you make decisions about what the situation is. Ah, uh, that's true. 
And I find that like, uh, you know, like people like, you know, you know, the story of Bill Gates, right? Where like he went to 3 a.m. in the morning to went to university to work on supercomputers or something like that. Like, I was thinking like, I wish I had that kind of motivation to be able to just wake up and just start working for like hours and hours and hours until I'm tired and before I do something else that is kind of less important, like meditation or something else to rest. And, okay, um, well, we can talk about how to get that motivation when we come back from the break. So this is Shiraz okay, on you. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, iTunes, and TuneIn Radio. And we'll be right back. Abuse happens every moment of every day. According to national statistics in the United States, every two minutes, someone is sexually assaulted. And every 10 minutes, a report of child abuse is made. Those currently struggling with abuse, or if you know someone who has been the victim of abuse, you are not alone. Whether physical, mental, emotional, or sexual, no, there is hope. There is help. There is healing. Author Tammy Hall has written a book from her own account of abuse called Journey of Courage that can guide you through your own personal journey of healing. Stop struggling through life. It's your story. It's your healing. And it can begin with the first turn of the page. Visit www.journeyofcourage.com to begin your path to becoming the person you were ultimately created to be. Healed. Hopeful. Happy. Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, JobsAnnex.com is your resource for career-minded people. JobsAnnex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at JobsAnnex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. JobsAnnex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. Welcome back to Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, iTunes, and TuneIn Radio. I am Shiraz, and we're talking about how to rewrite your reality. And if you have some blocks or limiting beliefs or want to know how to write, rewrite your reality, the number to call is 1-866-451-1451. So we're on with Arthur and talking about getting into that place of motivation to create your reality. So with motivation, well, I, Arthur, yeah, go ahead. I just want to say, like, Maybe I'm just not honest that my learning style, the way I prefer to learn, is different than other people. Like, for example, when I used to dance, I used to dance and write and play chess at the same time. Like, that's mm-hmm. how I would do it, and it would get me to a... St- like, that was one of the ways where it got me to a high level of dance very fast. But when I tried to do what other people did, and I just tried to focus on one thing for, like, six hours at a time, it doesn't work for me like that. So, like, I actually was able to learn some really good programming today while watching a dance video on one side and watching a programming video on the other side. And it actually learned a lot about like um, square quotations and like negative numbers and integers. And I just, and after I said this, after, during the break, I realized maybe I don't have to try to learn the ideal way that other people do. I can just learn the way I do, even though it looks like it's distracted or am I just lying to myself that this is a good way? No, you've got to learn in the way that's best for you. And if that's what works for you, then go ahead and do it. Uh, okay, back on the momentum thing. Like, uh, is there any tips you have for, like, just waking up at, like, 3 a.m., working like Kobe Bryant, like, you know, start doing, like, 12 hours of, well, not basketball for me. It would be, like, programming and writing ebooks. But, like, how do you do that, like, seven days a week for months and months? Because you want to. Right. Yeah, it's not, to. it's not, no, but I mean, this is it. It's, it's not that he, uh, gets this, like says, okay, I, I need to do this. So this is exactly how I have to behave. It's more, there's this force that I want to do this. 
like I can't I don't go to sleep because I'm so into doing this there's there's ways you can do it with with getting into discipline but even the people that say okay you need to create the discipline they want to create the discipline right so when you have a powerful why then the motivation comes in so oof, okay there's some energy there <laughs> I think so you have to look at what's, what's your why for what you want to create. That's the problem. Like yesterday when we had that conversation, you basically mm-hmm. tried, you, you steered me away from just doing it for myself to get a ton of money to actually serving people. And now that the why is changing, I'm afraid of what that will look like because actually that will help both me and other people at the same time. But it's like trying to create something of value to other people instead of just learning by myself and just enjoying it for the sake of like just passing time enjoyably. It's like, but that's not what I told you, Arthur. I said, if you want to do something for that brings you pleasure, go ahead and do it. Right. But when Mm -hmm. you want to create something that's going to generate lots of money, then other people get involved in it. Right. And the bigger, the more people you help, the more energy you put out that for things to come back to you for you to receive when it's totally selfish methods to earn or earn sorts of uh, money then that's a whole different energy that's out there now i never said you know what you do has to be for other people i mean the the whole thing is when i write i write because i love to write i i write because i have these stories in me that i feel just have to come out and they do but it's got nothing like uh, if people hated my work i wouldn't give a crap it's not about whether or not they love it it's about you know just unleashing what's inside me uh so it's a balance it's like when you're doing it you're doing it for yourself but then you yeah. also need to strategize what you do to help others so that you get that you get money monetary stuff in return if you want to do that well, yeah, people give you money when you give them value. It's that simple. Okay. Right? And value is interpreted in different ways for different people. You know, if you dance and you entertain them, that's value. Right? If you um, do do work for them, that's value. If you um, if you cause a whole bunch of drama um, for some people, that that's value because they get to, to watch the drama and people seem to love drama. So it's, it's all about determining what, what people see as value and giving it to them. But when you, how do you balance doing what with, you love? With, mm-hmm. How do you balance doing what you love with helping other people? Cause I feel that that's not the same thing, like the way you're describing it. And like, like, it's like, it show like, how do you like work with that energy? It's like, okay, when I'm writing, I was thinking like what, what really motivates me is helping myself and personal development for myself. That's what really got me into programming in the first place. And also okay. when, when I started writing, cause I love doing, I love the character sculpting and it's okay. just like, it's like a side note that it provides value to other people. So I guess like the ratio is different for everybody, I guess. And I don't know how to like, in, I don't know how to put that in my intention to do it for other people. It's like, I don't know what you mean by the ratio. Like, the ratio is like, for me, it's like 99% of why I do everything. It's just because I'd love to see myself grow as a human being. So I'd love to see different skills being acquired and stuff like that. It's only Mm -hmm. like a very pitiful amount where it's like, oh, I'd love for other people to benefit from whatever I'm doing. So that's probably like, it's limiting my life at the same time because like, I probably need to like, care a lot more about helping other people in order to create better life for myself. It's, see, here's the thing. It's about genuinely wanting to share what's going on with you, right? You can't force yourself to get into a state of, well, I've got to do it so that it helps people so that that's, then I'll get money. Because there's no motivational energy. There's no love in helping the people in that energy. But when you're in the space of, I love to grow as a person, and this is 
this is what I do for my life and this is the crux of who I am and, and what's going on. But if other people can benefit from them, I'd love to show them how they can do this too and so they can grow as people, right? So, and if you don't care, I mean, if it's just, you just want to make it about you, then you go ahead. That's your life to create. I'm not saying you have to make it about other people. I'm just saying that the more people you help, the bigger your impact and the more you generate. And that usually shows up in terms of wealth. Hmm. If you don't want to have an impact on people, you can still make a lot of, uh, a lot of money for yourself or some money for yourself and, and go on and live and grow. But helping other people is going to affect you monetarily. This is what it just is. Just, yeah, excuse me. This is just how it works. But we can talk more about that after the break. So this is Shiraz on Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, iTunes and TuneIn Radio. We'll be right back. Global Glory, that's the work of Dr. Marina McLean, COO of Global Glory, whose calling is to serve God. A first-generation British-born Londoner of Jamaican descent, Dr. McLean inherited the hunger for the word from her father, who was a Bible teacher. Growing up, her home was filled with missionaries from the Caribbean islands and America, and she travels the world preaching the gospel. She has a Bachelor of Arts degree in theology and an honorary doctorate of divinity and Christian counseling from Friends International Christian University. Dr. McLean is also a songwriter and recording artist, and her songs are written during summits and conferences in the presence of God. She's recorded three worship albums to date and is in ministry for 28 years alongside her husband, Dr. Rennie McLean, who shares her passion. Visit www.globalglory.org or on Facebook at Global Glory. Call 866-244-5679 and feel the glory. French Rastafarian baker Chef Hugues Mott is a fourth-generation baker and has worked in 11 countries across three continents. Born in Mulhouse, France, he began apprenticing in his father's bakery at age 12 and has devoted his life to learning cultures of the world from inside kitchens across the globe. He also teaches traditional French baking by hosting demonstrations in classes, and his passion for baking is reflected in his delicious confections. With a deep respect for discipline and his Rastafarian way of life, Chef Uvmat exemplifies commitment to tradition and culture in a global world. Traveling extensively and combining a myriad of flavors into his recipes, Chef Uvmat brings a unique approach to baking. To read more about the French Rastafarian baker, visit www.frenchchefoug.com. That's H-U-G-U-E-S. Bon appétit and bless up. Welcome back to Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, iTunes, and TuneIn Radio. We are talking about rewriting your reality. And if you have any blocks, limiting beliefs, or reality you need rewritten, the number to call is 1-866-451-1451. So we're on with Arthur, and we were talking about doing the things you love. And as I said, Arthur, you can just do it for you, and that's absolutely fine. And it doesn't have to be about other people who are making money. And people have lived their lives just doing things for themselves and being happy. So if that's what you want to do, then go for it. Make sense? I think it, what you just said helped me be honest with myself. My primary joy is growing myself. And if other people so happen to benefit, then that's great. And if not, that's okay, too, because I'm already doing my own self-serving growth thing that I love. Okay. Cool. Yep. I got my answer. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for being on. All right, we have another caller. Charlotte, how are you doing? Hi, I'm, uh, I'm okay, thanks. Um, I heard you talk, like, talking about momentum and rewriting your reality, and I just am so frustrated, actually. The timing is perfect because I am thought I would be completing something tonight uh, that I've been working on for um, since 2011, and really since... Um, since uh, last year, this started, and then I—it's very consuming, and it's—it's—it's been—it's—it's it's been incredibly difficult and challenging. And when I went to go and sign all the paperwork that needs to be submitted, I didn't notice until the very end that there was a typo, or it's not even a typo. The accountant that I'm dealing with made a mistake, a spelling mistake. Uh, in, in the name, and so just to be clear, I guess, and not be uh, 
you know, vague is that it's taxes to be submitted on behalf of someone else. And I just, I, the, another thing happened where I'd been there last week and he said that he expects that the taxes owing would be six to $9,000. Well, it isn't six to $9,000. It's $69,000. Yeah. Slightly different. And that's a big, big, big difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, and so I was just kind of getting over that and sitting in shock and thinking, okay, I'm not sure how this is going to work out exactly, but I just hope that it will and know that it will. Um, And I know that it will. Like, I just, I know that it will. I'm not happy with the result, but, um, and then on top of that, there will also be actually additional fees and interest and things like this. So, and I'm just, I'm so, I cannot believe, I can almost not believe. So, so all of that aside, I, I asked the question, is there anything that it can be done, a filing or um, like a way to uh, like fight it or a way to, you know, like make it, I guess in, I'm thinking about it in a work term and it, it would be like a grievance or like, you know, appeal it, like an appeal for the taxes and, or not the taxes, but the, the interest in the fees. And I just, I cannot believe that, like, and then I didn't notice until it was the invoice that he handed me that had the name spelled wrong on it. And I said, that's not right. And then I pulled out all the paperwork and gave it a second look because he had been just putting it in front of me, asking me to sign it, putting it in front of me, asking me to sign it. And I look at it and I'm like, it's misspelled everywhere on these documents that are legal documents that are supposed to go to the CRA. And I, I'm just like floored right now. <laughs> I just don't know what to like. How could this go so wrong? So you can't file anything. No, not until well, he's gonna reprint everything. Yeah. Um, and then I'll go back on. I'll go back again on Thursday, and we'll submit it then. But I just can't. I'm just. It just, it took me right back to where I was 10 years ago at the beginning of this a huge project and undertaking that has been, inc- it's been incre- incredibly challenging. Like I, I, it has been, and I've gotten better and better at dealing, at dealing with it and moving through it and not feeling so emotional about it. But, but there was a time at the beginning where I didn't work for a year because I was so, I was under so much stress about it. And it just took me like right back there. Okay. I just don't know, like, is there anything that I'm like, that, that I, you know, I just don't, I just don't understand. I don't understand. And I, I know that, you know, through work that I've done with you and, and in that, you know, listening to the show a lot and things like that. Like, you know, you can ask, like, who is this or what's going on here? And I just, I just can't, um, I just, I don't know. I'm bored. Do you want to file this work? How? I want it to be over. I know you want it to be I over. Do you want to file it? No. Yeah. So you're no, causing whatever I, whatever can go wrong to go wrong so that you don't have to file it. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Oof. Wow. <sighs> so what if you just allow it to happen? And be over then. Just let it to happen, sorry. Allow it to happen and then have it just be over then. Yes. Yeah, that's all I can do. <laughs> that's all I can do. Well, physically, that's all you can do. Energetically, you can keep screwing things up over and over and over again. So. And I would like, and I would like it to go. Like I would like to energetically be able to make this go smoother to mm-hmm. come to completion. And if there's any opportunity to not have to pay an additional thirty thousand um, dollars, which is like the, I, I'm just I I'm I'm totally um, like speechless. 
speechless. Like, I can't think of another word. I can't think of, I can't, I'm just, I don't know why, like, I do know why. I, I think I'd like to clear all the energy around it. Like, I want, what, because when it's done and I'm free of it, too, I don't want to, I don't, I want to be able to just let it go and, and let it be done and let it be finished and not feel like I have, uh, un, like, that it's not resolved or something okay. like so let's see what we can do when we come back from the break. Okay. So, this, so this is Shiraz on Energetic Magic on the BVM Global Network, iHeart, iTunes, and TuneIn Radio. We'll be right back. If you seek a courageous advocate, prepare to champion your rights with consumer service agencies that support aging populations. Carol Ann Hamilton is the one for you. Carol Ann is an elder care coach, author, and speaker with a quarter million hours lived experience successfully supporting unculpable aging parents. As a result of a challenging journey, Carol Ann revolutionizes how stressed out caregivers restore serenity to their worlds. She also brings over 25 years of change management expertise in Fortune 500 settings to catalyze urgent transformation within the elder care industry. Carol Ann is a popular speaker at conferences across North America. She has appeared via TV, radio, and print globally. Now you can tune in weekly to get a dose of her inspiration plus down-to-earth advice to cope with even the most difficult aging parents. Listen Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416 529 7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Oh, I'm going to miss that commercial. Welcome back to Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, iTunes, and TuneIn Radio. I'm sure as we're talking about rewriting your reality, I'm not with Charlotte about her issues with the CRA and getting something filed there. So, Charlotte, first thing first, is this problem actually yours? No, maybe no. No. <laughs> I'm not sure. It feels like it's mine, but... Um, I, it's kind of kind of not. Does that make sense? Like, it feels like it's kind of not mine. Like, it it, it feels personal. It feels like it's mine, but yeah. it's not it's mine. Okay, it's, it's so confusing to me, to be honest with you, because uh, I feel very personal about it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, first thing, are you willing to step out of any part of this story that's not yours? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Second thing, are you punishing yourself? Yes. Is this punishment? Okay. Why yes. are you punishing yourself? Because I took so long to do this, and I okay. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to do this project. I had no clue, and it felt completely overwhelming. And okay. but there's now fees, and 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 yep. I feel I, I'm punishing myself 100. Mm-hmm. percent Okay. So, are you willing to destroy the belief that because you took so long, you need to be punished? Yeah. Oh, actually, are you willing to destroy the belief that because you took so long, you need to be punished severely? Yes. Yeah. 
It feels, it definitely, it definitely feels like I think everyone is, is mad, is going to be mad. <laughs> Who's everyone? Hmm. Um, depend, like, so the, fa- my family and the, who are also the beneficiaries, like the people that stand to benefit. <clears throat> from the estate as well as my ex-husband okay. and, and his family so the longer you delay the outcome of this the longer it's going to take for everyone to be mad but maybe I feel like they're already mad but then they'll be more mad yeah so to prevent that, that's what's going on, is you're delaying and delaying and causing more yeah. errors so that that final outcome can be avoided. Mm-hmm. So are you yeah. willing to destroy the belief that the best thing to do is avoid that final outcome? Wow, yeah, you're really trying to avoid that. Yeah, there's a lot of fear around the final outcome, which is strange because it mm-hmm. at the end of the day should be should be a celebratory thing and yet feels like a night like feels like a sword, like feels like not not. Like it should be. It should be like uh I think there's a little bit of maybe I get to keep suffering. <laughs> like I get to be a martyr a little bit or even though I avoid it, I avoid, like, I don't know. It's a, a weird, it's a strange thing. I didn't really think about that. I don't want to suffer. I want to be able to, I, <laughs> I want to want to be able to move on and enjoy having this complete. Okay. Yeah. But do you have to? Oof. Who? Oh wow! Who determines when you've had enough suffering? The the answer that came forward was God. Okay. But that's not All right. really my story. Like what? Yeah. So, are you willing to destroy the belief that you have to continue to suffer until God comes along and says you're done? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <sighs> 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 Oh, wow. Okay. How does that feel? It's good, calmer, but like a bit, a bit ir. I feel a bit ir. I feel a bit irritated, like a bit irritable. Like I feel like a, yeah. I feel like an itch. Yes, like I want like an internal like itch you can't scratch, kind of. Okay. Like an irritation. Like an irritation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel. <laughs> okay. And but who I feel calmer. With? Yeah. Who oh, am I irritated? Yeah, everybody. <laughs> Myself and everybody, especially okay. my family. Okay. Do you want to continue being irritated with your family? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> but I would, I don't, like, I'd like to not. <laughs> but yes is the answer. Mm-hmm. 
So the wonderful thing is, as long as this drags out, you can continue to be irritated with your family. Yep. Okay. So let's let's clear that when we come back from the break. So this is Shiraz okay. on Energetic Magic on the PPM Global Network, iHeart, iTunes, and TuneIn Radio. We'll be right back. Abuse happens every moment of every day. According to national statistics in the United States, every two minutes, someone is sexually assaulted. And every 10 minutes, a report of child abuse is made. Those currently struggling with abuse, or if you know someone who has been the victim of abuse, you are not alone. Whether physical, mental, emotional, or sexual, no, there is hope. There is help. There is healing. Author Tammy Hall has written a book from her own account of abuse called Journey of Courage that can guide you through your own personal journey of healing. Stop struggling through life. It's your story. It's your healing. And it can begin with the first turn of the page. Visit www.journeyofcourage.com to begin your path to becoming the person you were ultimately created to be. Healed. Hopeful. Happy. Introducing BetterHomeAndGarden.com. That's www.BetterHomeAndGarden.com with just the letter N in Better Home and Garden. BetterHomeAndGarden.com offers you the highest quality products on the market that are environmentally safe and effective and to make them available to you at the lowest possible prices. BetterHomeAndGarden.com understands that kind of creativity and do-it-yourself attitude. Thus, we developed our website, BetterHomeAndGarden.com. BetterHomeAndGarden.com offers you the following products right online. Bath, bedding, collectibles, craft, sewing and hobby, food and beverage, furniture, home decor, kitchen and dining, lamps and lighting, large appliances, musical instruments, outdoor cooking, patio items, pet supplies, plant and garden, rug and floor coverings, small appliances, travel and luggage, and so much more. Better Home and Garden is an online retailer offering a wide variety of high-quality brand name merchandise at discount prices. Our service is personal and we aim to please. Visit us at www.betterhomeandgarden.com. Make your home your own. Welcome back to Energetic Magic on the PBM Global Network, iHeart, iTunes, and TuneIn Radio. I'm Shiraz. We've been talking about how to rewrite reality. And we're on with Charlotte, and she's created a wonderful reality in which she gets to continually be punished and frustrated while being annoyed with her family, which, from her perspective, is getting to punish them with the annoyance. So, Charlotte, are you willing to destroy the belief that you need to perpetuate the situation so you can continue to be annoyed with your family and therefore punish them? Yes. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) What is reality going to look like when this is over and done with and settled? Wow. Not sure. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not sure. It, I feel two two things. One, the family being mad at me, which is strange because if anything, they should be happy. And I don't know either way, right? Like I don't know that Good. they're going to be happy or mad, right? Like I yeah. don't know the outcome, and yeah. I'd like to create an outcome where they're happy and then out of my and then gone. <laughs> Uh, okay. And maybe that, so, maybe I'm, oh God, okay. Yeah, I'm afraid. Are you willing it, to destroy the belief? Be... We'll get to that in just one sec. Are you willing to destroy the belief that you have to perpetuate the situation until you are absolutely sure that it will result in them being happy and then gone? Ow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's some energy. What was the other thing you were saying? That I'm afraid it will reconnect me to them. Okay. Like when it closes, so. that I'll have to be in touch with, like I, right now I don't, like what that will mean, like what that, yeah, there's definitely a fear okay. there. And also that I, something about like, I can't be happy. Like that, I, and as much as I am happy, and as much as I create a life where I'm happy, I feel that this is the thing that keeps me from being totally happy okay. or reaching my not the thing, but it definitely is folded yep. up in that, I guess. Okay, 
So are you willing to destroy the belief that if you resolve this situation, you will be connected to your family even though you don't want to be? <laughs> and are you willing to destroy the belief that you're not allowed to be happy for the mistakes you've made? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. There's so much resistance on that one. Yeah, I think because I'm thinking happy for the mistakes I've made. Like, that sounds kind of funny. Like, happy. You're not allowed to be happy because of those mistakes. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, there, that's, that's better. <coughs> that's moving. Okay. Whew. All right. And that I'm allowed I'm, to be disconnected, maybe. That's it, yeah. Yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. You're allowed to okay. be disconnected. Thank you. Thank okay. you. How are you feeling? Thank you. Uh, better. A little, like a little yeah. fuzzy, but 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 better. Thank you. Okay. Great. Like, Thanks I'll, for being on. Just let it process. Thank you. Okay. All right. That's it. That's completely it. So thank you for joining. Uh, it's been a pleasure doing this show. If you want more information on me and see what's going to happen in the future, you can reach me at energeticmagic.com. And I'm on Facebook. I'm on Eventbrite. I'm on Meetup. So just check out all those places. Instagram, too. But uh, have an amazing life and be well, be aware, and be magical. You've been listening to Energetic Magic with your host, Shiraz. What if by changing the beliefs that you don't even realize you have, you could create magic in your life? Listen each week as Shiraz will help you identify and remove those subconscious beliefs, releasing the hold they have on you here on Energetic Magic. been listening to the bbm global network the ideas views and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas views and opinions of the bbm global network company